While Raynad, the internet personality, says, I'm never going to change because of what you say, dumb nerd in my chat, Raynad, the owner of Tempo, and the big team that he just hired, came together and said, you know what, it's probably best if we don't just say we have NFTs. So, we have from Puffelkin saying, the first game to fairly implement crypto will inevitably be incorrectly perceived as scam. True. Make sure it's not the bazaar. I mean, yes. Uh, whenever the creator of the bazaar addresses the crypto situation, he talks about how everything will be fair, completely optional. Won't affect gameplay, won't be obtrusive, etc. He says that crypto is the future of gaming, which is debatable. But what isn't debatable is that right now it isn't the future, it's the present. He seems to think the best thing for his game is the best technology, period. He completely fails to realise the reality of the situation is irrelevant. The only thing that matters is public perception. I would not necessarily wholeheartedly agree. The public can be very, very, very fickle. Um, what was it? Oh, I swear I've seen somewhere this last week someone else come up with a crypto based game thing I saw somewhere but they just completely avoid the word NFT and it looks much better um, even though they're effectively just doing NFTs kind of like the bazaar is going to probably it doesn't matter if the game is, isn't actually a scam it's already automatically banned from Steam well before release that's because Steam are worried about people uh, basically having their own Steam marketplace which is what the bazaar wants to do um that's nothing to do with Steam rallying behind public perception. I think that Steam just went out and banned any sort of NFT game because they wanted to protect their own Steam market because NFTs were a danger to Steam Marketplace. And they could do such a sweeping ban because of the public perception. I feel like their issue with it wasn't anything to do with the public perception. Gabe probably owns NFTs, I don't know. Um, Steam don't just ban games because of a public perception of them being a scam. Um, that alone makes it look like a scam. I mean, they're not going to put on their... Uh, <laughs> their press releases that they were banned from Steam. Um, additionally, being banned from Steam means you have to rely on other outside sources for advertising exposure. Honestly, I don't know how many games I pick up just because Steam advertises them anymore. I genuinely can't think of a time in the last five plus years that I've gone on the Steam to look for a game that I didn't know existed. Steam is just the best place to store my games. Uh, or one of the places. For me, it's the best place to store my games because it's already got all of my other games on there. Uh, Twitch and YouTube is where I tend to find out about the majority of my games, or Twitter even. Um, exposure, exposure, blah, blah, blah. Large PC gaming platform, yep. You'll generate $0 from every Steam sale. Not as big a deal. Right, what? Let me reread that bit. Right. Being banned from Steam means you have to rely on outside sources. To scale, that somehow compensates for the fact that you are not... To a scale, that somehow compensates for the fact you are not on the single largest PC platform. You'll generate $0 for every Steam sale. Sure. Even when players do download your launch, you'll not be able to convince many of their Steam friends to do so also. I'm not sure what that was trying to say. I feel like that was a very, very long sentence that needed to be cut in half somewhere. Even a megacorp like EA eventually had to admit they were only selling... Oh, this is this is a different argument. This is now the I don't think you can compete with Steam argument. I don't think Tempo can compete with Steam. Why the fuck would they do that? Equally, I play num a number of games that aren't on Steam. Because they don't have a Steam like setup. They have launchers elsewhere. How many people play Minecraft? Minecraft isn't on PC, right? I'm 99% sure. 
that has its own launcher. People buy games with launchers and play games with launchers. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just don't have a problem with games that aren't on Steam. I'm afraid the creator will insist on doing what is best for his game regardless of public perception of these decisions. Not regardless, because they've... So, here's another thing. Right, let me get to the end of the thing, right? If this just happens, it will inevitably lead to the total failure of the bazaar. I implore him to reconsider. So, while Raynad will definitely tell you he is not taking public perception into consideration, he is going to do what he thinks is best for the game regardless, they have made a change. Previously, dial the clock back, I don't know, a few months ago, they started talking about implementation of NFTs in the bazaar. Just when Ubisoft were coming out with their implementations of NFTs in the bazaar. However, since then, since the massive public outlash and since Raynad went on stream and said, I'm not going to stop this just because the public told me to, we are now no longer calling them NFTs in the bazaar. Even though what they're probably doing is exactly an NFT? We're not sure. We don't know the details. Take everything I say with a large grain of salt, but they are probably still using the blockchain to probably store your cosmetic so you can probably sell it back to someone else if you want to replicating a sort of steam marketplace that's nfts sure there are a bunch of other impl implications and whatever but that's effectively what the shift has been here but there has been a shift they've moved from nft because it was the buzzword it was potentially going to be a good thing and they've shifted to a blockchain system thing, Bizarre Coin. They've shift shifted to Bizarre Coin. So, yes, they. While Raynad, the internet personality, says, I'm never going to change because of what you say, dumb nerd in my chat, Raynad, the owner of Tempo, and the big team that he just hired, came together and said, you know what, it's probably best if we don't just say we have NFTs. Uh, so yes, he does. He has reconsidered. Well done, Pufflekin. And every, to be fair, well done everyone that did say that they had a problem with it because it has potentially saved the game. It's at least better than it was going to be. Um, so yeah, a, a positive impact has probably been made on the state of the game. But it's no longer a problem because they're not doing NFTs anymore. And he is considering the public opinion. <laughs> Just like what he tells you. And he did say on one of his streams that they aren't selling NFTs. There you go then. He's not selling NFTs.